The Congolese army announced that it thwarted a coup attempt this Sunday in Kinshasa. The situation was quickly brought under control, and calm and normal traffic flow have resumed. Security forces surrounded Gombe and managed to contain the situation. The initial alert came from the Japanese ambassador to the DRC, reporting clashes around the residence of Mr. Kamere, former deputy prime minister and current candidate for the presidency of the National Assembly. Heavily armed assailants targeted this residence, resulting in exchanges of gunfire with Kamere's bodyguards, two of whom were killed. One assailant was also eliminated. Some assailants retreated towards the river, while others entered the Palais de la Nation, the official office of the president. The events were broadcast live on Facebook by Christian Malanga Musumari, who was presented as the leader of this group, displaying Zaire flags. The assailants were subdued by the Republican Guard. Questions remain about how easily the assailants were able to enter the Palais de la Nation. Several arrests have been made, including foreigners, one of whom is an American. Christian Malanga, born April 2, 1983, a former member of the Congolese army living in the United States, was shot and his body identified. He had founded a military political movement, New Zaire. The army assures that the coup has been foiled and calls on the population to resume their normal activities. Investigations are ongoing to understand the motivations and possible support for the assailants, some of whom hold Canadian and American passports. The authorities promise to provide more details as soon as possible.